Right, in this video I'm going to show you how filters work on your camera. So first of all, just so you know, I've got my Fujifilm and my Tokina 11-16mm lens. And if you're using filters, you can't usually can't have your um, thing on your camera. Um, so for example, if I were to take a photo, I'm just going to take a photo of the garden with this on, this actually cuts out a lot of sun, because the way the sun's coming down just now, it may just hit the actual lens. So if I... And then if I take a photo with it off... You'll notice that there's some lines, just little spots of sunlight coming down and hitting the front of the glass. And that's called lens flare, or lens glare. Flare or glare? Don't really know the difference. Anyway, maybe there is a difference. Anyway, so, talking about the filters that you get. This is Kokin, Kokin, and uh, in the pack, it's, it, first of all, it's quite an expensive pack. This is the Pro Lens, uh, or the Pro Filters, and they came, I think it came out to about £140. Now, inside the pack, you get a couple of things. So, first of all, you get this, and you get this. This is the uh, thread ring thing. Uh, so what this does, this goes onto the front of your camera. So you have to screw this on. So inside the part of your camera, you have this little um, screwing bit. And this bit goes in there. You obviously get different sizes for different sizes of lens. And there we go. Different sizes for different sizes of lenses. Uh, so you can put different things. And then this bit goes on front of it. So this is what actually holds the filters in place. Place it on like this, that way, these little bits at the top stop them from going anywhere. So you just lock it in by putting those there, and now it can't go up and down. So that's it just sorted on the camera. Then, then with the pack, you get three three filters. You can actually put two or three filters uh, on this at the same time, but we'll just do it with one. And each filter comes in its nice little pouch, and you should always really hold it by the very edge. And there you can see this is a neutral density graduated filter. So that means it's not got any colours to it, it's just kind of grey then clear. And from the top it's dark and the bottom it's clear. So this is a neutral density of four. So that means it's, I think it means it's, it's four stops difference. You also come with one which are ND2, so that's a wee bit less of a difference. And then the last one is the really strong one, probably the one which you use the most, where it's an ND4, if that means uh, eight, eight stops. So what we'll do is we'll use this one. I've always got to be very careful because you don't want to get fingerprints on it because it's a big bit of plastic. It's not glass, it's plastic, but it's very, very good plastic. It doesn't distort your image in any way. And you place it into the holder like that. So now you've got both, you can rotate that round, so if you're shooting a uh, portrait way, or if you're shooting landscape way, if you haven't got it that way, and you can decide on where the kind of filter part takes over, so near the top, near the bottom. So again, if I was to take a shot of the garden, So what you see there is that there's definitely a lot of spots of the sun hitting both this glass, my uh, filtered glass, and then the lens glass. So there's lots of little spots there. So you've really got to be kind of careful where you use it. But in general, it's really given the sky a great look to it. And I'll show you if I if I raise the height of it. So you shoot there. And then if you lower it there. Now there is a bit of a danger because sometimes the sun can reflect off the back of this and get into your uh, into your image. Especially when you're using super wide angle lenses like this one, 11 to 16. It's not so much of an issue if you're doing more kind of 18 to 50 and then beyond. Yeah. So this time I'll actually shoot straight into the sun. Cool, so that's given it a nice dark sky but yeah, you can still see all the garden. Again, I'll do it without the actual filter. There you see the sky is is still pretty good. That's partly to do with the fact that this is the uh, Fuji S5 and it's got a huge dynamic range. Um, but normally the sky would be a lot more kind of 
blown out, I would imagine. A bit less dramatic. So in, if you look in the old, or the picture with the filter, garden's a bit brighter, the grass is a bit more greener, and then the one without the filter, it's kind of a bit more neutral. Not as interesting. So I'm a big fan of these, and especially if you've got it on bright days like this, it can really do wonders. There can be some issues, because it's neutral density, uh, or because it's graduated, it, uh, it will mean some of those trees will be darker, but the ground will be brighter. So it's kind of a case of it works in certain situations. It's really good. You would never really use it for portraits or uh, or not really even sports stuff, but definitely landscape uh, stuff where you've got the sun out and you've got bright sky and high contrast because it takes out the brightness of the sky and keeps the the more light in the ground foreground. So I hope that helps. Cheers. And I would highly recommend getting filter kits. Okay.